Hello! Welcome in the video course about SAS. If you do not know what is SAS, what is a preprocessor, and you would like to change it, then you are in the right place. Thanks to SAS, you will write your CSS faster and your code will be cleaner and easier to maintain. You're probably thinking right now why you should learn SAS. There are so many new technologies out there and some of them are worth your time and some of them aren't. Is it worth to spend a while on SAS? At the beginning when I heard about SAS, I thought it's not worth my time, but I was totally wrong. After this course, you will not want to back to writing normal code in CSS as it happened to me, really. The cool thing about SAS is that everything you know about CSS is gonna be useful. So it means that you do not need to worry about learning something from scratch. Actually, SAS is expanding CSS by additional features, like for example, as you can see here, variables, uh, mixings, etc. But we'll talk about all these things later, okay? SAS is called a preprocessor, which means that it is processing code pre, which means before sending output CSS to the web server. It means that you will keep your loading speed of your website at the same level using SAS because everything is done offline before sending CSS code to the server. It's even better. You're gonna increase the speed of your website because SAS can automatically compress output CSS file. As you can see here, we have got a code in the, uh, in the SAS and it is automatically changed to something like that. You know, when we look at this code here, <laughs> I cannot read that because well, it's, well, it's hard to read, right? But it doesn't matter for our computer because our computer can read what, whatever we give it, right? It doesn't matter if there are spaces or not. So there is a compression going behind, which is very useful because you can send now this thing to the server and you have got also files in your folder here, we have even more files than one, and you can manage code here, you can maintain it very clear, and in the same time, just send the output file, which is very small, which will increase your website speed. And in addition, in addition to this, SAS allows you to split your working files into many files without also losing website, uh, website loading speed, because look, here I have got many files that are, for example, here I have got a navigation that we'll create. Uh, and as you can see, I have got a special file for, for this, right? So when I later want to change something, I know, hey, here is a navigation, I will just do something with navigation, okay? That's really cool. I want some variables, okay, I will go just to the variables. And the cool thing is that I have got only one single output CSS file. And uh, well, it is very cool because you can have only one request for this uh, file when, uh, when the user is gonna visit your website. So it's just perfect. So the time that you will spend completing this course will be easily made up on your next web project. If you know SAS, you can easily learn another preprocessor, like for example, LES, because they are very similar, so do not worry. And to sum up this introduction, after this course, you will know how to install SAS, how to write clean and easy to maintain code, how to make out output CSS file automatically compressed. You will know how to use SAS language syntax. You will know how to create a professional clean project like that. And you will know how to create a responsive web design using SAS. Yeah. I give you also 100% satisfaction, which means that if you do not like my course, you can just request a refund up to 30 days time without any question asked. Thank you very much. And I invite you to watch next free lesson where we compare SAS to less.